Introduction I can't seem to move on. I need to get this off of my chest. This burden inside of me is too heavy to bear. Nor is it easy that in my heart it is only stay. The truth has imprisoned my whole being and I can't go on living. Knowing, knowing that there were too many words left unspoken. Love is too great to be hidden. Some words should be out in the open. And I hope that you hear and see this in heaven. This is a story of you, daddy, me, and mommy. This book is entitled Journey. A Midnight Bloomer Production Presents Journey Chapter 1 In every book, there would be a start or beginning. There would also be an ending. We all have a story to tell. We all have suffered and endured pain. We are all but passers-by on this earth, wanderers, until we meet our Maker. Our home is truly with the Father. As we embark on each journey, there must be things to remember, to consider, to ponder upon, to learn. We must always be ready. For in every course of action, there would always be a result that would either satisfy us or leave us with an eternity of regret. This is a tribute to my dad. My dad died last September 25, 2021. Our family was devastated. My whole being was shattered, but I wasn't able to mourn properly because my mom also got sick and I had to attend to her needs first and be strong for us both. I don't know how I can mourn now that it has been a bit late and I also have another person now to mourn for. My mom also died just a few weeks after my dad. I wanted to shout. I wanted to cry. I wanted to get mad. I wanted to punch the wall or commit suicide. I feel like my heart is about to explode any minute now. Everything hurts so much that nothing is clear at the moment. It feels like I'm drowning and nobody's there to take my hand anymore. My parents just left me all alone for now. This is how I would deal with the loss. Nothing could ever compensate. No love here of this world could ever compare. Only God can love me like they do, possibly even more. But I can't hug or embrace God like I used to do to my mom. Or will God joke around to help me feel better as well, like my dad? I think God will love me differently, so I would miss everything that my dad is and everything about my mom would also be missed. I will cherish all the memories that we shared and this, this is a tribute to my dad.
my dad as a human being you are a person of virtue a man of principles the one who taught me when i was young to always make sure to follow what your conscience dictates and to always fight to not be afraid of anybody as long as you're doing what is right you're the one that told us that loving nature especially animals is a must you have imparted your values and has shown us that principles goes hand in hand with the heart and should not just stay in the mind Actually, did not listen much to what you've said most of the time, as I was too stubborn, and was caught up with my own immaturity to have all your words be stuck into my thick skull. Later on, I have learned the hard way. You have influenced us a lot. You were the one that we can always talk to. The one that is easy to approach. The one that has ears that listens. You were not perfect and so am I. And we have had our misunderstandings as well. I remembered when I was younger we were always arguing about everything. I asked God, why did you choose him to be my father? Why God? Why? God answered me by helping me realize that most of my thoughts, principles, values, and traits came from you. God is Never wrong. I remember when I was in Thailand. I have just begun attending services at Jesus' Lord Church. I prayed to God for us to be okay and for you both, my parents, to go to the same church I was attending. It was next to impossible, but it did happen. And for that, I am grateful. Our relationship as a father and daughter was restored by God. I understood right after, more and more, each day, why God has chosen you to be my father. And indeed, God has chosen well. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard To pull one foot in front of the other ah, So far is the echo, where do we start? My dad as a husband A million stars here in the shadows, I know you're scared Take my hand together Now my dad scared a lot of people back then Even though he secretly has a soft heart His good deeds were often hidden and just known by few people that like me watched him secretly i remember back then there was a time when i saw him come home afterward he immediately washed our clothes he did not even have enough time to even get to remove his police uniform and get changed to his everyday clothing he loves my mom so much that he always makes sure that her tired hands won't get wet. 
She's a teacher and a back then, teachers would always do things manually. Lesson plans were handwritten and exams would be checked by hand. Activities would also be written. Again, everything were manually done, so he makes sure that all household chores were done by him including our laundry. My mom does the cooking though and she can cook really well. She was his queen. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard To put one foot in front of the other uh -huh. So far is the echo, where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars And because he loves her so, we loved him more we love just how she's his priority and the apple of his eyes. Here in the shadows, I know you're scared. Take my hand together, we'll make a stand. Thank you, Daddy, for loving our mother the way you love her. No more. My dad as a father and grandfather No more hope is left in me You have prayed to be blessed with a son And I have always been sorry that I wasn't But even so, I was your bunso and I loved it All I do is fall Feels like I can make it I had some tough times in life and I took it out on you. You became my shock absorber. I was a bad daughter. There was also a time when you were punishing me for things I do not understand. So even. I guess in every relationship, there would be misunderstandings. We all make mistakes. Some things I have done were almost unforgivable, but you did forgive me, even though I don't deserve it. I was happy whenever you were happy though. I'm glad and was grateful to God that he gave Christian to us. He was a dream come true to you, a son you've always dreamt of. But life wasn't easy for me. I just hit puberty and all I wanted back then is to become pale and pretty. I wasn't patient to Christian and to Jeffrey. I was having crushes and all I wanted was to be left alone. I was me most of the time because I was looking for acceptance from other people. Not realizing I already have it from my family. This is also my story. My apology. My heart ache. Written for you all. I was mean. I was thoughtless. I broke a lot of hearts including my own mom and dad. The time when we were able to patch things up and finally mended our broken relationship, I was more than grateful to have an understanding dad. Now, I can't speak for my sisters. They have their own point of view on things. But, I can say that based on what I have seen, their relationship with our dad is great. I have seen how you love all of us. 
You have pasalubong every time you arrive from work. You have always been thoughtful and giving and for that I thank you from the bottom of my heart. As a grandfather, I have seen how you have been more patient, more loving, and sweet. I guess all grandparents are. I have also seen that with mom. I was kind of hoping you'd see my children someday. But some things aren't meant to be, I guess, because now we are seeing is our maker. There were too many misunderstandings, things that could have been avoided if we all spoke and listened to one another more openly as a family. I am the most at fault and again, I am sorry. I wish I could have brought more joy. I hoped I could have given you all if only we have enough time, or did we waste so much of what we have been given, thinking that we have more than what we had. I promised to treat you and mom to a restaurant that you'd both enjoy once my channel gets monetized. Ate Lanang, Ate Grace, Tita Pinena, the kids were all included in my plan, but I wasn't able to. My dream was to go and travel to places with you and mommy, to places I know you'd both like and enjoy. It did not happen. I have wanted to build a mansion and buy a lot of things for you and mom. Because I know you both deserve it. But again, it did not happen. And now, it never will. Still, even in your last days, I saw and felt your love for me and for our family. I hope to make you proud someday. When all of the pain, at least, Fades away. You give me strength to carry on. Pull me into you. You give my life again. You were a good person, and now I wanted to thank God for giving you to us. Thanks be to God for choosing you to become my father here on earth. Daddy. You are a channel of blessing, a giver of love, a teacher of values and principles. You imparted your knowledge and understanding, and you also provided us with care. Thank you for being a person whom I am proud to call Tadiko. You are my father, and I cherish our long talks especially when it comes to politics, God, and topics that most people avoid. Daddy, please always look at me from above. 
I'll do my best to make you proud. I'll do my best to do good. So that I'll go to heaven someday, just like you. This is me saying bye for now. Until we meet again. I love you, Dad. I will never forget you. See you in heaven someday. I trust you and I trust God that that's where you went in heaven. I miss you and would still be missing you until I take my final breath. Words from the Heart In this journey called life, you have traveled far and wide. You have conquered many battles and won a lot of wars. You are our source of inspiration and should have been a hero to our nation. Not many saw your good deeds, but I know that God sees. I hope that with Jesus you will rest in peace. This is a tribute and a goodbye here on earth from me to you, the person I truly value. I wish I could have shown it more to you, but for now, I hope this'll do. Please look down on me here and watch over me with Jesus. I will do as I must and live a life that you'll be proud of. I may be a bit weak and soft, but I'll do my best to be strong. Until we meet again, Dad. I love you so much, it hurts. Please take care of my dad, Lord Jesus. I wasn't able to give him a mansion here on earth as he deserved, but I hope he has one there. See you, Daddy. for being a part of this journey and for watching a tribute to my dad.